Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Overcrowd Commute of the Day, Episode 4. So in our last episode we got ourselves a brand new line up and running um, and I think we've uh, pretty well stabilized. However, the game is not going to let us sit at that pretty well stabilized uh, uh, status for too long. Absolutely not. No, we are going to get punched in the face with a norovirus, which is essentially like the stomach virus version of coronavirus. And nothing like an extremely crowded subway station to let a disease spread like wildfire. And we're going to have to deal with that. Um, so, uh, I know I was talking about expanding out to this entrance, but I do not want to open up another avenue of infection um, until after this particular scenario has passed. Um, so that being said, we're gonna need we're gonna need to prepare for the storm, the the uh, incoming puke storm. Uh, right then, so in order to prepare, I think it is uh, time that we hire another staff member. We have a lot of good applicants. Um, applying for our positions here. Um, at the moment, I'm looking at either Oliver Singh, um, really good refuse skill, and a really good security skill, which we'll be needing in the near future. Um, with the next tech level, which we'll be unlocking pretty soon, uh, security comes into uh, play here. Um, on the other hand... You know, I mean, I like Logan Adams' skills, but his stats just suck. I, I just know, just know across the board. Uh, now, Riley Roberts is another is another consideration. Yeah, he's got a really low stamina, but we can deal with really low staminas. He's got a he's got a healthy strength, a healthy speed, a really healthy perception, and he's an all rounder. He essentially can do anything. It, I mean, 30% is a good starting skill for just about anything. And he's an ace mechanic. So we can finally uh, take uh, Larissa off uh, moonlighting that. So you know what? I think we're going to hire you. Um, and yeah, let's get you a new name. Mr... Mr. Thibault, welcome to the station. Now, one other thing that we're going to do here, and this is kind of going to be a, a, a temporary thing. Uh, procurement, tools, we're going to need a mop. We have the first aid kit, that's going to be one part of dealing with the norovirus, but we're going to need a mop. Because when people puke, you can't just use a litter picker to clean that up. You need a mop. Um, so we are going to place mops. And not just one mop. Oh no. We, uh, we're we're going to need a lot of mops. One, two, three mops. And we're going to need two additional first aid kits. Um, I'll probably get rid of these at some point after the norovirus passes. But guess what? Everybody. I don't care what your base skills are. Everybody is, is coming in and doing medical and mopping. Everybody is getting that stuff on board. Um, now, as far as Thibault's uh, main uh, thing here, Thibault, I do want you taking over the tools, uh, the mechanic stuff from Larissa on a more permanent basis. Uh, but yeah, you can you can moonlight. Um, you might actually be my become my security person, even though Jetstream's better. Although I could give Jetstream security. Um, you know what? I'm going to give you garbage duty too. Take that off a of jet stream and let you go about it. Um, let's make sure your flag is. I mean, your perception is so high that yeah. Oh yeah, jet stream. Do me a favor, my friend. I want you to equip that mop. I'm going to actually keep him on shift. Yeah, go go and deal with the stuff on there. But yeah, jet stream. Uh, equip that, equip that, and why don't you actually go take a new break here? Also, I um I saw a tooltip when loading up this particular uh, save file, um, and it taught me something I did not know. Um, if you put a plant inside a break room, it will help reduce despair. So, plant goes in the break room. 
I I literally did not know that. So Jeff Stream, please take a break. We want you good and refreshed. Because you're gonna be uh, you're gonna need to help out here. Why did you put your thing away? Well, you're there. Uh, please do equip a mop, Jetstream. All right, good. Yeah, as long as you have a mop and and a, uh, a, a, a first aid kit, you are equipped for the storm uh, incoming. Where are you going, Larissa? Uh, Larissa, I want you grabbing a med kit and a mop as well. Just, just so that she has it. Yeah, she wants to do more litter picker stuff. But at least she can go water the plants. I'm okay if she doesn't do all that. As long as you're equipped for the job. Right, the bow is just going to be fueling everything up. Alright, you can do your emptying, but you really... Once you, once you do that, you're going to need, we're going to need you there. And actually, the, uh, let's make sure everyone's, we've got full coverage. Uh, Jetstream, I'm actually going to put you right here. Um, oh, Larissa, you need a, you need a break, girl. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have you pick up a first aid kit. And then you're gonna go, yeah, auto rest. The bow, I need you picking up your equipment here. This is, I know this is a lot of micromanagement, uh, but it's its its worth it to head off the uh, norovirus here. Did I miss that? I think I missed it. There we go. And the bow, please, uh, please go in and take an early break. And Jetstream, why don't you take another break? Everybody, rest up. You're gonna need it. Hmm, guess you guys don't need it. Um, one other thing I want to get here, um, and I think we need to procure it is a medicine cabinet because if our staff members are going to start getting puked on they're going to need a way to restore their own health there we go perfect all right just want to make sure everyone's topped off all right um here's what we're going to do uh Thibaut... You know what, Jetstream, you're going to you're gonna stand over here. The bow, you're gonna take the the main area. And then Larissa, you're gonna take the north area once you rest up. So I want you standing up here. Alright, let's wish me luck folks. Oh yeah, um, the boat. here's what we're going to do, just to make sure everyone stays on target, we are going to unassign all other duties except for dealing with norovirus crap. We do not want them, we do not want them going anywhere else besides We don't want them grabbing new tools. We don't want them 
We don't want them doing anything except dealing with the norovirus once it hits. And it, oh, it'll, it'll, it'll be hitting in just a moment. Because we pretty much pre-did everything else. Are you s seriously? If someone has the flu, that's not the norovirus, though. I don't know why Jetstream ran out there, but all right. So far, no norovirus, but are you serious? And it breaks. All right, I guess I need to let the bow uh, do his mechanics thing, which means he's going to lose one of his two crucial tools. There we go. There's the norovirus. And we got to get to them before they start barfing. All right, the bow. Get back. To equipping that. All right, pounce on it, Jetstream. Don't let him puke. Don't let him puke. You get you get dinged every time somebody pukes. You get dinged every time somebody sees puke. And every time somebody walks near puke, they have a chance of picking up the virus. So pouncing on these ASAP is crucial. And yeah, the whole idea of these events is that normally, yeah, these, these, you know, people will, will occasionally show up with just a regular gastric flu, but that, that'll just be occasionally. You'll get one random person showing up with that occasionally. But during an event, you get, um, you get a lot of people all having the same problem at the same time. Um, so if you don't pounce on it, it will quickly spiral out and get you a game over. We're holding steady. All right, get it, Larissa. Get him, get him, get him. Phew. All right, uh, jet stream, get it. There we go, bud. Thank you. The bow is taking a break. Um, but that's okay. We're, we're holding up. Scenario over. Phew. And I, I, I think we did it without actually letting anybody puke. Nobody puked. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, so Larissa, yeah, you don't need your med kit anymore. Uh, you do need to level up, though. Congrats on the level up. Um, what shall we give you? Um, your perception is good for now. Let's give you another point of speed so you can get to where you where you're going faster. Yeah, you're getting that. You're getting you're you're a refuse and refiller person. Um, jet stream. I am going to keep you on that. You don't need to mop, uh, but we do need you on people skills and stuff. And the bow, you can go have your cherry can back. I know we have a lot of people who are lost. And that is causing us uh, to, to lose a little bit, because the longer they wander around lost, the, uh, the more upset they get. Um, it's not going to spread like wildfire, like a norovirus, but um, it, it, it still is something that's, that's a, a, a slow detriment if you don't deal with it. Boy, everyone needs a break here. So far, we don't have too many other problems striking us. Okay, um, actually, now that we've, we've dealt with some of these problems, we can now, we can now enact our, our plans, our planned expansion here. Um, people don't get too angry when you expand during the day, as long it's, it's, it's when you move things that people get angry. Although, hmm, what, no, it's still early in the day. So we're going to build out from down here. Um, and a couple of things that we want to get here. Infrastructure. No, we don't need that. Um, facilities. Um, oh, Busker. Yeah, I haven't opened that one yet. And yeah, that should be good. All right, we're 
good there. We're good here. Okay. All right, so what we want to do here is we want this to hook up with this area. So we're going to need a, their own um, bunch of turnstiles because, yeah, we're, you know, we can have a separate thing of turnstiles. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to, yeah, you know, this is, this could be a, a nice bigger area here. It's going to be like sort of a shopping center that we can get in on here. Okay, so what we'll do here is place our entrance, like so, um, and then we can get our sculpt floor, knock these down a couple of rungs, uh, then we can bust out our level 2 turnstiles, which are actually thinner and also use less electricity. Um, so we can have two level 2 turnstiles like this, um, that way we have the in and the out, sculpt floor. Um, now let's see if we can staircase. Yeah, all right. So it does automatically squish the uh, floor down for us. Perfect. So yeah, we'll just flow right into a pair of staircases. And now the, the people on basement level three are at basement level two and they can rejoin. And that way they can make it either straight to our uh, this line or go up another flight of stairs to make it up to uh, basement level one. Uh, excellent. Uh, the other reason I put a little bulge over here is um, let's get some ticket machines. Uh, again, I always put two. Uh, that way, uh, now I'm not going to go all creature comforts down here. We're gonna we're gonna make a big mass of creature comforts over here. Um, so let's see here. We do need some creature comforts, like a, uh, a light. We definitely need a light. And then we'll need a light up here. Um, I won't begrudge a bin, um, because people get really impatient with the litter and they'll just toss it even, you know, as soon as they get into the station sometimes. Uh, we, yeah, we definitely need a level two bin up here. But that's it for creature comforts down here. We, we don't need to go too crazy in this little nook. You get in, you buy your tickets, and you go upstairs. Um, all right, so this is going to be going... Um, yeah, we'll make this our exit ramp here. Um, and then this area will go to one and two. One and two. And I shouldn't need to adjust any other um, items here. So we should be pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, let's open her up. And now people getting off the trains can now leave our station via this exit, in addition to people coming in here. Um, you know, there's so many lost people and it's such a pain in the butt to get to them there. Let's provide a level one map. Um, and yeah, get you over here. Because maps also take the place of, uh... Oh yeah, Larissa's all the way up here. No wonder she's not getting at the, uh, at the plants. We need to re-centralize our people. Don't want our plants dying on us. Oh, did we uh, go up a tech level? Because I see people starting to get whiny about uh, getting new commerce things. Yeah, we just went up a tech level. Excellent. Um, all right. So, yeah, at this tech level, people, all, we, we open up a lot more commerce things and people get angry if we don't provide them. We need the hot dog stand. We need a coffee cart and a flower stall. And why, while we're at it, let's get a drinks billboard. Um, we also got um, a third platform we can get into, and we can go up to four carriage trains. Now, we're going to need to extend our, our platforms here to take advantage of the four trains, the four car trains, but that I think that is something absolutely worthwhile. Uh, that being said, we are going to absolutely need more power 
you can see where see how there's like this little thin black line up here yeah we're 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 starting to sip power or sap power away here um now if we go for commerce here uh yeah i definitely want all the big commerce things over here okay uh all right so these things do require power uh, flower stall Put you over here in the corner. Um, and you know what? Utilities? Actually, that's another thing that you opened up here. Um, and I just hope we get enough money to play with them in level 2 generators. Um, and level 2 fuel barrels. And level 2 um, capacitors. Level 2 wheelie bins. Like, we can go... We th This is a big, big level here. Um... So, I mean, we, we do have a capacitor, so we can... Yeah, Jetstream, where, where are you formally stationed, my friend? You are formally stationed here. Um... Yeah, actually, you know what? You're good, right? You're, you're good with your flag right there. Because if any uh, I'm Lost people spawn over here, the map will take care of them. Larissa, do me a favor. Um, go equip the litter picker for me. Because I know you're going to need it. Yeah, we just want to get as many... Um, as, move as many people as possible here. Just to, just to maximize our income, because we're going to need to expand our uh, our utility slot. Although, maybe not. It's not sapping as much power. Uh, let's get the coffee cart. Yeah, nice, nice morning coffee right here. And uh, let's get some billboards. Drinks billboard, food billboard, newspaper billboard. Newspaper, food, drinks, we'll catch them on, nope, nope, not on both sides. Yes, no, maybe so, yes. All right, good enough. Get a drinks billboard over here. And that should be good for billboard spam. probably want like a bathroom like we're, we're gonna put all the creature comforts in this little zone over here just to maximize our uh, our coverage here but I want to I want to play this day out uh, and then do you know possible expansions to or, or uh, renovations to the uh, um, to the area here the utility room that is Platform one. I gotta get the uh, signal semi-automator in here soon. Yeah, this having the map over here is quite handy. Is that yeah? They they'll auto fix their lost status. But I do still like uh, I, I do like the the thing here. I know I could probably blanket the whole uh, the whole area in that. Um, in those maps, but um, having um, Jetstream help them person to person will actually get them uh, get him more experience points, uh, and I and I do want him getting more experience points. And he's good at people skills anyway. Um, oh yeah, let's uh, let's get a toilet. Because we still only have one. We never actually rebuilt this other one. Uh, I'm hesitant to rebuild it there just because it bugged out. So uh, I'm going to build one here. And also, yeah, let's get a busker. Like, this area is really well traveled um, by a lot of people coming and going. So a busker 
next to a level two plant, I think would be fantastic in terms of just getting, just farming up a whole bunch of happy thoughts. Um, we probably need a few more seats somewhere. Well, we'll have one right there. Oh boy. Okay, new problem. Um, new new problem, new tool. So we need to buy the drip and the defibrillator. Somebody has had a heart heart attack. Where where's our uh, where's our where's our port? Oh boy. Uh, okay. Um, now, actually, we can we can sell off some of these uh, excess. Um, yeah, medkit ain't gonna cut that. Um, we're gonna need a level one defib. We might as well buy the level one drip while we're at it. Jetstream is now going to be able to use both of them. And yeah, the defib is at uh, a number one priority. Uh, Jetstream, my friend. No, don't go yelling at people, please. Go, go equip the defibrillator. Run, man, run! You can save a life! No, you don't need a megaphone. Oh, you, you, um, his, your, your thing isn't... That person's outside his zone of influence, so I gotta... This is where, um, a little, a little micromanagement is, is worth it. Hurry up, man! And then people seeing a, uh... A person on there. Is that a body? Did somebody die? Hopefully not yet. Save him, Jetstream! All right, he's up! He's up! Oh, that was close. Okay. Thank you, Jetstream. That was close. Yeah, go, go back to screaming at people. Thank you. Oh, just in time for nighttime, too. We'll put you back over here. All right, 3,000 bucks in the bank. That's not too shabby. Uh, and our power supply is actually holding steady. Um, power levels... Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. We're generating 18.225, so we can, we can add more accoutrement here without going nuts. With our uh, thing here, so let's 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 creature comfort it up. Uh, we got the toilets. We got the. We need more benches. Like just in general, we need more benches. Um, yeah, this is all occupied. Um, we'll get a couple more benches up here, and then I think down here. Um, these older benches, we can get rid of these things. Also, that thing's in the way, so I'm getting rid of it. Uh, so we will get proper bench. Um, what else can we put around here that is useful? Oh, right, uh, newspaper stand needs to go in this, 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 uh, sales area here. That's fine right there. Uh, we also probably need a phone box. Um, yeah, actually this bench is going to get nixed. That's a perfect spot for a phone box. Um, can we squeeze a cash machine around here? Since this is the uh, commerce uh, capital area. Mm, I don't want to move this because this thing is in a perfect spot to hurry people along. I'd have to sacrifice one of the uh, one of the other things. Um, no, I think we're okay. I mean, I guess we could mix one of the benches, but nah. You know, I think we're okay as long as we have a cash machine somewhere in here. High prices body nearby, but otherwise I think we're pretty good. 
All right, folks, we we uh, managed that. And uh, coming up next in three days, we got a crime wave. That will be our next uh, scenario that we get to deal with here. But I think I think we can handle it pretty well. Uh, we'll want to keep an eye out for a uh, security specialist, though. That will probably be be helpful there. All right, folks. So uh, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!